Welcome to the Knowledge Gaming Entertainment Channel, my fellow Blitzers. In this video, we will do a review of the German Tier 10 Medium Collector, the KPZ 50T. As customary, we will highlight the firepower first. It mounts a 105mm cannon, providing an aiming time of just 3.2 seconds. Accuracy is an exceptional 0.308 of dispersion, and it feels like it most of the time, as I'll demonstrate in a few moments. DPM is high at 3678. Reload 5.22 seconds. AP pin is 250 millimeters. Heat 300. And HE 53. All preceding statistics are with the gun rammer option installed. Here we'll examine first an in game look at the standard armor penetrating round performance. It's not bad as shown here. And now with heat revealing significantly more penetrating area. Here especially for non-calibrated. And now back to AP. And now another action look at both pin and accuracy, shown here. Enemy armor is damaged. Here really good. And there's one Premo Diversion RNG helped us with. And there's the accurate pin. And here we will see that accuracy and penetration on a stronger example opponent, the IS-4. First AP shown here. And now the heat. And finally at longer distance, AP pin shown here. Here is heat showing significantly more penetration. AP accuracy here. And Pramo showing another diversion. And pin, not shabby at all. And now let's take a look at those statistics with calibrated. AP is up to 263. Heat jumps 30 to 330 millimeters. And finally, HE at 58. Another important detail to point out is that the tungsten rounds consumable option is available for the KPZ 50T, boosting the following damage statistics by a range of 105 to 125% during activation. AP Alpha Average is 320, Heat at 280, and finally HE coming in at 400. Now let's review the KPZ 50T armor. Hit points are 1800. The rounded turret armor a healthy 245mm frontal, and a decent 120 on the sides, enhancing situational survivability. The hull is also 120 at the front. And now let's check out the KPZ armor as shown from that same IS-4 gun. The turret is strong as you can see here against AP. And now significantly weaker against Pramo, as shown here. And here as you would guess, the larger front plate is a must hide when possible or you'll get toasted. And last but not least for a medium, the mobility statistics. And here you'll ride along for an in-game test drive, feeling that mobility firsthand. Possessing decent armor of course makes acceleration sluggish until the aftermarket turbos kick in, and then it picks up decent speed. And 
here displaying the turn radius, which is sparky enough to circle kill the less nimble targets. And as shown here, somewhat lethargic uphill speed and sacrifice for more weight and armor protection. And back up to speed again once we get on the power band. Not bad overall. To sum it all up, Man, I do like the KPZ-50T. So far it has been dynamic and a seriously good performer. On a side note, I have been able to get away without running calibrated shells so far. Here's my equipment settings. And my consumables. And I am running tungsten rounds. So far so good. I had a feeling about this KPZ-50T for some time, and it's turned out to be a great addition to my tier 10 medium options. Thanks for stopping by the channel my fellow blitzers, please hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and a monstrous thank you to all of my subscribers, and to those not yet subscribed you may want to check out some of my other videos including container droppings, action clips, reviews and gaming action, which is a great reason to consider subscribing. So until next time my fellow tankers, I will see you on the battlefield.